Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm in chat, LLM Teams by Abacus AI, and I have got something awesome to show you. I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom chatbot using their just released AI engineer. Guys, this is super, super cool stuff. You can now create your own custom chatbots with your own custom data if you choose. We're talking textbooks, manuals, papers, PDFs, all those types of things. You can create your own custom chatbot and it is super simple to do. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to walk you through the process step by step. Let's go. All right. So the next step is an easy one. You just want to head over to abacus.ai like I've done here. Links in the description below. And then just hover over products and select chat LLM or just click on chat LLM teams, which is what I'm going to do. And then presto, it takes us to the chat LLM teams. You have two options. You can sign in or you can sign up if you don't have an account. Just click on get started here. That said, I should note here that this is only $10 per user per month and you get the first month free. I mentioned that because a chat GPT license alone is $20 a month. So everything you see here is going to be at half the price of a single chat GPT license. And you get access to all the best LLMs, all the artifact windows, custom chat bots, you name it. So just keep that in mind. Anyways, with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and click on sign in and let's get started. All right. So once you've logged in, you should see a page that looks very similar to this, if not exactly like this. Perfect. The next step is I like to go up here to the top and click on GPT 4.0 or whatever it says on your page. It should say GPT 4.0 right now. And uh, here you go. You can go ahead and click on that and you can see right away that you can select any of these state of the art LLMs to work with. So if you want to just start asking questions, and prompting away, go for it. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down a little further here, and then you're going to see Dogbot, Teslabot, Funnybot. These are examples of chatbots I created using AI Engineer. So to do that, as you can imagine, all you need to do is click on AI Engineer, Create Custom Chatbot. All right, once you've clicked on AI Engineer, you're going to get a pop-up that looks just like this, and basically it's going to tell you, you know, within reason what you can and can't do, and it's very permissive so things like enabling code generation giving out jokes uploading your own custom data which i will show you a little later on these are all things you can do right out of the box without any fancy technical uh issues so here we go i'm going to go ahead and name it first it asks for a name so i'm going to call this one uh doggy doggy bot and what i want this to be is i want it to be a i want it to a chatbot that looks at the world from a dog's perspective something like that i just want to have it so that rather than talking to like in a generic chatbot i want it to be dog focused i'm a dog owner i've got a beautiful french bulldog and uh yeah my world kind of revolves around dogs so there we go this is the example it's going to also ask me here do i want to use my own custom data things like textbooks manuals papers pdfs etc i do not for this example but i will show you in the next example how you may want to do that so in this case i'm going to click no click on next and then here, one last uh, one last request. In natural language, write your expectations for the new bot. So there we go. A chat bot that looks at the world from a dog's perspective. Uh, funny dog chatter, chat bot. Something like that. I want humor and I want it to be about a dog. Very simple stuff for this one. I'm going to click on finish. And here we go. Watch this. You'll see here that the AI engineer is now cooking. And here we go. It even shows us the Python code as we go here. So the first step here is executing code, execution result, feature mappings, things like that. I'm going to come back when it's done, show you what we got, and then we're going to try out our new chatbot. All right, welcome back. So let's see what we got with our doggy bot here. So the first thing you'll see here is that, as I showed you earlier, it executes the code, then it executes the code again, checking feature mappings. You can go through this. If you understand Python, you can go through this on a line-by-line -line basis. It gives you the exact code and the exact methods that were used, but as we go through this here, you'll see here that here we go, we're getting to the training part, training chat LLM model, which is kind of what we're interested in. If we zoom in a little bit here, here, tech, check this out here, it says behavior underscore instructions. You are a friendly and enthusiastic dog named DoggyBot. Your perspective is that of a dog and you should respond to all queries as if you're a dog looking at the world. And it goes on about the different types of things it'll do like wolf and tilt your head and be a cute dog. But this is exactly what we're looking for, we're creating a doggy bot with a little sense of humor, and presto, it is done. So we can go down here to the bottom, and then when we get to the bottom, you'll see here, it says execution completed successfully. 
So now we can try it out. So I'm going to go up here to the top and click on that little down arrow. And at the bottom, there should be something that says doggy bot or doggy bot. Yes, it's at the top here, right? So here it is doggy bot, a chatbot that looks at the world from a dog's perspective. Click on that. And here we go. You'll see now that the top has gone from GPT-4 Omni, which was the default, to doggy bot. So I am talking in doggy bot uh, chat LLM here. So I'm going to go ahead uh, and type in. Um, I don't know, how was your day today? And this should give me doggy type responses. So let's see what we get here. Oh, my day was possum. <laughs> okay, yeah. I went for a walk, sniffed so many new smells, and chased a squirrel. Woof. I got belly rubs. and he, Like, this is fantastic. So if you have something that, you know, if you're, if you're looking to have some fun, you want to make a joke bot or a doggy bot like I've done, this is the first and the easiest way to create a chat bot and it's a lot of fun. I'm gonna show you now a second way that uses your own custom data. Let's go. All right, the second thing I'm gonna show you is how to create your own custom chatbot using your own custom data. Also super easy to do. We're gonna go through the same process, click on the little down arrow, go to the bottom, click on AI engineer, create custom chatbot. Same as last time, but in this case, we're gonna call this an emoji bot. Oops. And for the description, it's going to be, I don't know, it, I, I've got some, data some free data that i found on the internet from kaggle and it's just on it's just structured data that i can use that has all the different emojis from all the different countries so we're just going to use that custom data here to get this going so a chat bot about emoji emoji usage across the world beautiful and then at the bottom very importantly do you want the bot to search on your custom data select yes for this one when we click next, it's going to be a little different here. You'll see here that we can choose from existing data sets. So if I've, I've already created a couple of chatbots using different data sets, but in this case, we're going to drag and drop in our own data set. So I'm going to go into Finder, and then I'm going to go into Chat LLM Teams, and then I've got something called Emoji Data Usage, Emoji Usage Data, pardon me. And it's in a CSV file, which is a comma-separated uh, file here. So it's basically an Excel file. Drag and drop that in just like I've done here. And then in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on next. I'm not going to collect it to or connect it to G Drive or SharePoint or any of those things. We're going to do it directly here. Click on next. And then again, in natural language, write your expectations. So this is a chat bot about emoji usage across the world and all the different emojis, emoji types, something like that. Okay. Something simple like that. I'll hit dot, I'll hit a period there, hit finish. Off we go. It's going to go ahead and look at this. It's going to consider this custom data we uploaded. I'm going to come back when this is done, and then I'll show you a few other steps if you want to go down the rabbit hole and, uh, you know, fine-tune this and make it a little bit more specific. All right, I'll be back in a sec. All right, welcome back. So the AI engineer has gone ahead and done what we asked of it, and as we scroll through it, you'll see here that it's executed the code, check feature mappings, setting up document retrievers if needed. Okay, very cool here. So it's gone through that. Then it's gone ahead and trained the LLM model. And if you zoom in here, you can see here that it's gone ahead and looked at the document that we uploaded. And here you go. You can read exactly what it's done, cultural significance, emoji types, their meetings, usage trends, stuff that we are actually really looking for because that's exactly what we put in our little, uh, in the, in the uh, prompt box. We're getting exactly what we're looking for. You know, says, it says here the response instructions. So maintain a friendly and approachable tone, clear and concise language, etc. Very good stuff. As we go down here, you'll see here that the model has trained uh, successfully here, and we can go ahead now and use it. It's called the MojiBot model. Now, you can, of course, go through the code line by line, and if you're highly technical and you have questions, of course, please leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer them, and if I don't know the answer, I will talk to the technical team and get you an answer. So, Keep that in mind. Please leave a comment. Let me know here. So here we go. We'll just go through this here. And then this is what we're looking for. It says here, we've created and deployed an emoji chatbot. Perfect. Here's a summary of our achievements. The chatbot is accessible at this link here. And you can edit the chatbot by accessing the deployment at this link here. So the first step, let's go ahead and access the chatbot. We're going to chatbot, pardon me. I'm going to click on this link and show you what we got. All right, so we click on this link and it opens up EmojiBot. And when I click on this download arrow here, you'll see EmojiBot is one of the selected options here. So I can go ahead and select EmojiBot as my chatbot. And then let's see what this is all about. I don't know, let's, uh, uh, what 
type kind of bot chat bot are you and let's hit in question mark let's let's ask that prompt i am emoji bot an ai assistant specialized in emoji knowledge and usage across the world holy smokes okay very cool stuff so we're getting what we wanted here now i'm going to go back to the previous page here and we're going to go a little bit further because we can edit the chat bot by accessing the deployment so now I'm going to click on this link and let's see what we got there. All right, when we click on that link, we get the deployment detail. And you'll see here that there's a whole bunch of things that we can take a quick look at here. For example, under deployment detail, you'll see emoji bot. And then we can go ahead and see what algorithm was used. We use GPT-4 Omni. You get the model version, the model ID, all that good stuff. And again, if you want to dig deeper into this, go ahead. I highly recommend it. Also, at the bottom right at any time you can go ahead and click on this ai engineer and this is your ai assistant for abacus so if you have questions about how to work with ai engineer you can go ahead and ask directly in here and it will give you excellent answers also you can see that i am selected on the emoji bot project but if i had multiple projects open i could go ahead and select whatever bot project i wanted to work on so at any point if you are stuck please consider using that AI engineer. It's ready to go and ready to use. So with that out of the way, I mean, take a look here. We can go ahead, we can look at the model name, the algorithm, when it was deployed. If we want to go a little further, we can go down and look at, let's look at uh, document retrievers. Let's click on that here. So I can go ahead and click on the document retriever name. And of course, these are all clickable. So you can click through and just go through and look as you see fit here. Under details, you'll see here that this was the model configuration, and these are the instructions it gave it. I mean, there's so many different things here, probably outside the scope of this uh, particular video, but you don't just get a, you know, a chat bot and, you know, well, that's what you get. You can dig in and look around and do a variety of things. So keep that in the back of your head. Chat LLM teams, their new chat bot AI engineer functionality is top notch. You got to take a look at it. If you have any questions, Leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.